welcome to thinkcloudly.com and today we are going to discuss a very important interview question these interview questions can be asked or these are asked in various companies fortune 500 companies generally ask these questions like you know amazon apple microsoft right um, ibm sort of these companies alibaba sort of these companies ask these questions these are very basic questions but yet they want to ask you because you know they want to see how much basics you your cleared are right so the question for today is what are the types of policies which aws supports so there are on in all six type of policies which aws supports now first of all what is a policy a policy is a group or is a set of permission is a set of permission which you provide to any um, entity in order to see a user a group or a role in order to grant them access to the resources right so a very simple in a very simple language i define the policy now this is of six types number one is identity based policy so identity based policies are generally divided into two types either it is managed policy that is it is managed by aws or it is inline policy meaning that it is specifically created for a user or a group or a role identity based policy <clears throat> second policy second type of policy is the resource based policy i think right resource could be anything so resource based policy are generally inline policy by inline policy here i mean that it is inline policy to resources like for example if i take an example over here example s3 bucket policies so s3 bucket policies are you know in s3 bucket policy generally you grant a permission or grant the permission basically to the principal right grant the permission to the principal so principal can be any anything any user any group any role this could be principal right so you are trying to create resource based policy you are keeping the resource in your mind uh, in this case it is s3 and you are trying to create the policy next is permission boundaries right uh the name of the policy is permission boundaries so these are basically advanced feature these are very advanced feature of aws right so to set maximum permissions to set maximum permissions for a user right to so maximum permission for identity based specifically for users then you have organization scps so the next type of policy is organization scps scp stands for service control policy service control policies right service control policy so it is a maximum for uh, you know permission for an organizational unit so you have ous here for ous for organizational unit organizational sessional units you basically go for scp so organizational unit is again it is like a container which contains the root account the sub organizational units it, uh, sorry uh, organizational unit is is a container which can contain various various different different accounts sub accounts you know sub organizational units and so on so forth. then you have acl acl stands for access control list access control list so you know it controls which principles you know it is generally it is referred to as the cross account it is used for cross account which principal in which account will you know can access the resource right the resources can be s3 right web application firewall you know, vpc and so on last but not the least you have session policies session policies so basically these are again advanced policies where you you can uh, you know um, pass a parameter pass policy as a parameter right if you are trying to access anything right and if you are trying to create a session then these policies are generally used so 
All in all, there are six types of policies, identity-based, resource-based, permission boundaries, organization, SCPs, uh, ACL, access control list, and session-based policy. Thank you. The question says that, how can one differentiate between a root user and an IM user? First of all, an IM user in this particular question stands for identity and access management. So root user is one which has different set of facilities or a root user can be defined as the core user when you are creating it is first created when you are creating it is created by default when you are creating your account. So whenever you create an AWS account, right, whenever you create your AWS account. This is the by default user which is created. So in terms of access, if you talk about access, you know, you have, you as a Ute user will have full access to resources. Okay. You will have full access to resources. Resources meaning everything, everything in your account, right? like services, right? So you will have full access to resources, right? Then you have power to create, uh, to close your account. You have the power to close your AWS account, right? Because you are a root user. You, you can change your support plan as well, right? Change your support plan. There are four basic support plans. Right. So you can change from basic developer business enterprise. So you can select anyone. You can change to any plan. Right. Then as a root user, what you can do is you can change, you can enable or disable MFA. Enable or disable. MFA, which stands for multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication. Right. You can also change your email address, right? You can also change your, update your email address. So being a root user, you could have these power or these functionalities with you. Talking about the IAM user, so what are the powers of IAM user? IAM user can, you know, it can authenticate or start. It can authenticate or start a remote session. A remote session using their, using their IAM, right? Using their IAM user credentials. Using their IAM user credentials right. and account ID, of course, using the IAM user credentials as well as their account ID. So this is one facility which they can have. Then they can, you know, correspond to a, you know, application process, right? Uh, can be assigned entitlements, can be assigned roles, right? They can have role-based access as well. Role-based access as well. So these are the power of IAM user as compared to root user. All in all, root user is the user which which is which you know which is having who is having all the power. And IAM user has limited power provided by the root user. So root user will also decide the power of the IAM user. Root user decides the functionalities which should be provided to the IAM user. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Switch from non IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com.